Hello friends, it's Astro here and welcome back to RimWorld. I hope you're doing well. I am too. Um, I'm actually kind of happy because I think I've actually fi finally figured out how these bloody storage pools work. Right? We're going to test the theory very shortly. But I did notice that when I pulled out the other reactor up here, I've upset the uh, the console loom so it's no longer connected through. But what I can do, i tell you what, Des... Could you... I don't know where you are, but could... Oh, that's disconnected as well. Okay, so all of my reactor uh, consoles are currently disconnected from this. There is one here. Let's do this one. <laughs> and this, there's more than one way to skin this cat. And everyone was like, Oh, jeez, I don't know if you need that many console uh, reactor consoles, Astro. Well, you know, when you stuff things up like I do, sometimes... Well, sometimes it works out. Ho! Oh, hey! Check it out. Five she, welcome, welcome to the colony. Hey, oh god, it's good to see you, my friend. You are going to be an absolute boon to this colony. Watch this, All right? Bed rest, yes. Uh, warden, no. Warden, no. Janet, ja no. Turn all of this crap off. You are going to construct none of that. Uh, y no, none of that. High priority hauling and, and that that should be fine. That should be fine. Hauling and cleaning if there's nothing else to do. And there's some stuff that you got some passion for here. I suppose I could... Oh, right. Hang on. I suppose I could get it doing some other things. But anyway, check this out. All right. If I come over here, we'll have a look at this here a reactor. I know that the batteries are all pretty much charged. Yeah, they're fully charged. Okay, great. So what I should be able to do is shut down. Should I be scramming or should I just be pulling the power down to zero? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. So this is now going to slowly go offline. The power to the turbine is um, going down. The cooling is going down because there's not as much heat being generated. There's still a hundred and something degrees Celsius in there, but that's fine. So here's what we're going to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven rods. All right. And then in here, I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rods to load. And then in this one, storage, no, manage, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So now, my one man who is supposed to be doing uh, all of that sort of stuff, who was it? Was it Justin? No. Was it, uh, ah, hello, Mr. Deep. Mr. Deep? Make yourself present. Aha, here he is, right on cue. Off he goes, and he's going to load all of these rods in. And no, Mr. Deep, could you... Come on, buddy. Here we go. Yeah, we go. Okay, and he's going to grab that one. No, no fuel assembly. Okay, could you... Ah, uh, okay. All right, so it just comes down to the fact that... Wait a minute. I've got an idea. If I forbid this door... And then I say, all right, you can figure out what you're going to do. Then he's wandering. Reserved by Afton. Just, just force over that. Afton shouldn't be able to get in here. He shouldn't be able to path here at all. No. Reserved by Mr. Drillman. All right. So because of the fact that we've just got a little bit of, a little bit of overlap in the hauling jobs here. Um, that's what's that's what's causing us a bit of bother at the moment. Let's get this one out as well. Uh, Mr. Deep, last one, my friend, last one. Oh, no, wait. We've already loaded them all. Is that another one? It is. Well, let's load that into there then. All right. Here we go. Off you trot. And... Bingo, boingo. Nuclear reactor. I'm going to do this. I'm going to start it gently this time. So we're going to bring it up to about 20%. And we'll watch as it comes up and make sure that we don't have any terrible, terrible problems. We're going to make sure that our cooling and everything's online, which it is. Everything's great. Bring it up to 50%. Good. Good. These are burning up at a good rate. Yes. And I think we're probably safe to keep coming up a little bit further here. Ooh, looky. My word. So we're actually starting... To push our cooling, huh? 
we're up to 72% of what our cooling is ca uh, capable of. Now, that's very interesting. I may need to actually build out some more cooling st uh, uh, towers. I can probably safely put another two in there. But it's going to be something to keep an eye on, huh? Uh, uh, very interesting. Uh, all right, cool. So we'll keep doing that. Uh, we've got some antimatter grenades. I guess we may as well have them. I'm not super thrilled because grenades in this game are the fiddliest, most dangerous things to use. So it's generally, mm, it's generally not the greatest thing to be building a lot of, to be using a lot of. But uh, look, we'll, we'll give it a crack. Okay, so this is now getting even more further loaded to the delightful degrees that we want it to be, um, and that's going to help us to crank through this. Six days, six days is what we have remaining to produce our next load of plutonium. I've tried to purchase some. Um, I've tried to beg, borrow, and steal, but no, this is the only way. And sadly, all of these fuel rods in here, well, they're all buggered now. So I'm not sure exactly if there's anything we can do, unless, is there anything we can use a cracked fuel rod for? No, it doesn't look like it, huh? No, yeah, of course. Why would there be? Um, so we'll just leave those there and just ignore them forever. And how are we doing up here? You have... Oh, look, yeah. So it's completed all the uh, uranium pellets that we needed. Still got heaps of uranium left standing by. Um, and then in here, uranium fuel rods, 0 of 10. So tomorrow, when everyone wakes up, I'm going to anticipate that we're going to get some more fuel rods coming online. Or it'll happen right now. Beautiful. Now, here's the question. Do I want to make more of these? Do I want... I think I do. I think what we what we should do is let's, let's deconstruct this puppy here. Get rid of this cooling tower. It's no longer required. Um, I can probably... You know what? I'll, I'll deconstruct all of the things that are in here. And we're going to turn this into our uranium production facility. Is that a good idea? I think it is. Uh, this console loom can stay, although we're probably just going to have to double check and make sure we don't have any um, uh, any gaps in that. So steam pipe select similar. We'll get rid of these as well. Boom. Okay, great. And then this console loom here. Let's see. That. Yeah. Okay, so that comes up and across like this. What I can probably do is just stretch that down to here. Um, down to there. And then we'll go across and then down. And then what I'll do is I'll decom a lot of what's in here, right? And when this is all been, when this has all been decommissioned, uh, then we can re this whole area into a mega production facility, 5 million. So that when I say I want X number of, uh, X number of fuel rods, instead of just having Sabarian or just having Kim, we can have multiple people working on it at the same time. I feel like that's probably, probably a pretty good idea. And we'll, we'll hold up. Cancel. Uh, I don't want to deconstruct. Oh, no. Okay. I thought I'd accidentally deconstructed the tool cabinets, but no, thankfully I haven't. Um, these batteries here can probably go as well because they're not actually really required at the moment, um, which means that this can go and this can go. Uh, this power cable that's going up here will leave for the time being. And these are actually only powering all of that stuff. So we may as well get a few components and a few bits back. It's not really super necessary, but why not, huh? Why not? So let's just deconstruct all of this malarkey. Uh, deconstruct. There we go. And good. Bit more uh, steel. A few components. There's a flash storm. Wait, where was that? Oh, wait. Uh, colonist. So A5. You've been missing a sidearm for quite some time. Uh, range slots full. Okay. Is there a weapon somewhere that I can give you that we can use as your sidearm? I mean, those grenades would have been good, huh? But I'm not going to send you traipsing out in the middle of nowhere to go and pick up some grenades. I feel like that's a dumb thing to do. Right. It, look, it doesn't matter. We don't need to worry about it too much. But what I am going to do is... Once this console loom is done, Forshi, could you work on the console loom first? Good, thank you. No, 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 this way. This one. 
Yes. Uh-huh. Good. Yes. Great. I just want to get that out from underneath all of those. And then if you want to do the rest of it, that'd be, that'd be spectacular. Then we're going to need to reconnect this because we've just broken all the power in this area. So what I'll do is I'll grab a blueprint of this. Um, and I want the whole thing. No, I don't really want the whole thing. I want to create a fresh blueprint of just this. Uh-huh. And we'll call this, um, uh, uh, What's, what's this one called? Rimatomics, um, RA prod. RA prod. Okay, good. That'll be fine. Uh, so let's have, I think I want them to be like here and, or if I do them up one more notch, I can probably fit two. Now nah, let's just do two. I think two is probably better than one. And then let's blueprint, uh, these guys here and we can call them room four. That's fine. And we'll just pop those in between those two benches. Um, and I guess we'll leave this one where it is? Question mark? I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Unfortunately, it looks like all the storage bills for these are gonna be buggered. So I'm gonna have to go through and redo all of that as well. So that's a little bit disappointing, but you know what? It's not terrible. I'm sure we'll survive. So let's hook these up like this. That'll hook into there. This can hook through to there and then We'll go either way like this, just to like absolutely redundantize this whole area. It'll also bring this back online, which is probably a jolly good idea. All right, so we now have three of these bloody things. That was pretty quick. So if I do this, and then on this one, I go paste and link, and then on this one, I go paste and link, then good, that's taken care of. And now over here, oh my giddy aunt, um, Right, what I might do, what I might do is, so that one's gonna be the input because it poops out behind them and it's taken care of. Then we're gonna to wanna to have this one here as the uranium one. So can I copy the settings yet? So if I get this one here and it pastes and no, no. Okay, that's, that's really disappointing. Maybe I can, if I now go output and then paste, does it now work? Storage? Oh, hello. Uh, yes, it does. The uranium pellets have now appeared, but I'm gonna need to like set a maximum of like 10, I think, probably. Uh, and then this one, no, I don't think I need to do that at all. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Um, all right, and then this one, uh, okay. So there's, there's a way that you can paste the settings, which it, it does paste what's stored in the unit, but it doesn't set all of the modes for the unit. Can I do that? Can I just select multiple ones, like this one, this one, this one, this one, and then set them? Oh, I can. Oh, all right. Well, let's do like this, right? We'll select all of these and we'll set them to yes, and then click output, great. And so then I just need to duplicate these settings across. So why are there 141 components here, boys and girls? Could you please have like a maximum of five in there? That'd be great. Um, that's probably where all of my components have been sitting this whole freaking time. Um, and then what's this guy? Silver and uranium. All right, so if I, if I grab this one, uh, let's copy that to there. Let's copy, oh look, it's just putting all of them. Oh, you absolute burk of a mod. Why aren't you clever? Um, and then this one can be copied and then pasted to there. Okay, look, I feel like at least we've got the core of what we want. I'm going to leave, I'm going to change this out. I'm going to hang on. Let's, let's get rid of that. And uranium pellets. We don't need those anymore. Um, is this linking back to this one as well? It's not. That's fine. Um, control rod actuators we don't need. I'm going to leave the nuclear warhead just in this one. Right? And so in this one, let's clear it. Uh, and we'll link. Maybe I didn't paste and link correctly the first time, huh? And link. Okay, great. Beautiful. All right, so that's all we need. Um, I just should double check then. 
This needs uranium, steel, silver. This needs your plutonium, oh my god, steel component. Uh, plutonium, steel component, uh, silver, uranium, steel. Okay, so that's pretty correct. That's pretty correct. Um, I don't think we need this one. Because we're only going to make warheads at one bench. Uh, if we even do make them. Uh, so this one here, we need to... Uh, let's go copy. And then... Let's pasty paste. Um, then... You know what? I'm just going to mirror these like straight across. So let's copy the settings here. And that one can be pasted. This one is an input. Um, this one is an input. They do need to be specified where they're going though. Good. This one here. Copy. And then paste. And this one here. Copy. Paste. Aha. Uh -huh. Cool. Alright. Then all we need to do is... Can I select uh, all of these? Uh, and if I zoom right in... Can I select all of these like this? And then change the output settings so that we limit to like 10 of each thing. And yes. And go. Oh. It's a revelation. It's an absolute revelation, my friends. Um, is this one actually set to components? Compo? Okay. Well, I mean, we're still having problems with our component like locations. I'm going to go ahead and guess. If I have a look around here. All right. There's 10 here. So... Let's just, let's just start doing some bulk output settings. 10. Okay, great. What about in here? Well, we don't really need this one anymore, huh? Oh. So, maybe if we just go, like, storage. Uh, and, well, just, just deconstruct it. That's also fine. We'll have an input there. That's cool. Is there anything elsewhere that is hanging on to a shit ton of components? That's what I want to know. Um, I know, that actually, I know that there is one down here that is currently holding 37. So that can probably be dropped a little bit. Uh, let's take that to just 10. That should be fine. And anywhere else? Are there any other output holes that are getting in the way of what I need to do? Or is that that? I think that's, aha, I see you. I see you. All right. Well, then let's uh, let's grab all of these ones. And we'll lock the output on these ones to 10. Now, hopefully, there aren't any recipes that need more of something than that. Because uh, that does get in the way. But we'll just keep an eye on things. And make sure that we don't have any cheeky problems going on here. Right. So, we've got another boomalope that's got dementia. We've got our sky mind antenna now. Now, this... This is actually kind of interesting. And I feel like this is probably something that we should just start fluffing around with and seeing what it does. We've got our um, our other stuff that's sort of, oh, yeah, anti-matter composite. Well, we ain't getting that anytime soon. What does that require? Uh, let's see. Uh, no, it's not even in there. I don't even know where to make it. Uh, was it was it this chap? Were you the man that did the thing that, that made the stuff that... No? I'm not sure. I think it does. Do you make antimatter composite? Yes. Plasteel and antimatter. That's going to take some time. It's going to take a little bit of time. But we can worry about that later on. For now, I really want to check out these, uh, these Skymind antennas. So, where would they be? Would they be in miscellaneous? They... Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh my. Oh. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we're doing this. Now, I need to build the launchy thing, huh? All right, so let me grab a launchy thing and I'm gonna build a little nest of these boys right here. So we've got our big boy nuclear launchy man. We've got our get people to places things. And these ones are going to be the, when they get there, they can destroy the shite out of anyone. So I'm going to build a couple of those there. Um, ideally, sooner rather than later. Hey, hold up. Five sheet. Get into position. And do me a favor. Come do these for me. And then come do these for me. Let's see just how awesome you are, my friend. I would very much like to see how quickly 
you could turn these around. Droid 3 is bringing some materials for you, which is nice. Uh, you just need some components now, so that shouldn't take too long for them to deliver. Where are you at? Oh my goodness me, she's moving. She, oh. Oh, a uh, bit of a mouse issue there. There we go. She's moving, and wow, look at her go. Man, oh man, okay. Five, she, uh, you okay? Do you want to wake up? Do schedule sleep. Uh-huh. Well, there's our problem. We'll fix that for you, my friend. All right. Oh, we've got so many people that are broken. All right. So let's pasty, pasty, a uh, pasty, pasty, pasty. Uh, Sylvester, Viking bot, and Willow. You can have an actual schedule as well. Justin, Jesse, Gordon, Bennett. No one's correctly set. Uh, Blue can do whatever the hell you want. Atlas, you can work all the time. Is that going to take care of it? I think that'll take care of it. Okay. Now, do you actually have the need for sleep? You have the need for comfort. Get back to doing something. And let's see if we can give her a bed. Um, in fact, I think it's probably time that we rethought our bedding situation entirely. Because this base... Well, this base kind of sucks. Really, doesn't it? Should we give her a bedroom in here? Should we give her this as her bedroom? I mean, we could. Well, let's think about this. Like, if I do like that, uh-huh, and then we go across like that, and then we go up like that, that'll give me the fixins for four bedrooms, which won't be super impressive, but they will be bedrooms. Actually, hang on, I should probably put some floors in here first, huh? What type of floors do you guys want in your new sexy bedrooms? Should we have, um, I guess, fine marble tiles? Ooh. Oh, no. Nope, okay. Well, these two can be fine marble tiles. Ooh. And then we can have two that have fine granite tiles? Yeah? Not quite. Um, not even one. Is there anything that we have enough of? Yes. Yes. That'll do. That'll be fine. Uh, and you know, I'll tell you what, this wooden quarry platform can probably go now. We haven't used that for some time. Right, so that, my friend, should help to take care of those new bedrooms. Uh, we can probably get into... Now, where the hell have beds moved now? They're in here, huh? Royal beds? Yeah. Royal beds. Steel royal beds. Let's do it. Let's give everyone who doesn't have a bed a new bed down in this zone. Um, <clears throat> we will allow them to be made up rather nicely. We'll give them a... Should we give them a chair? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think we need to worry about that. But we will worry about things like end tables. They're always handy. So we'll have one of those per room. Jolly, jolly good. Five, she's coming in to just smash this out for us. Um, I'm actually going to go, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go even, I'm going to, I'm going to go even further. Let's give these guys their own personal little table in each of these rooms. Yeah. All right. And then a couple of little dining chairs, uh, steel versions of boop, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop. And then ba boop, ba doop, bank a bonk. Good. That'll be nice. Yeah. All right. And then like some lights and shit or... Oh, there's a whole bunch of statues, actually. Yeah. Uh, what about ext furniture? Which is extra furniture. There are ergonomic beds. Oh, that would have been a good idea. Um, isn't there like a dresser? Yeah, dressers. Okay, let's let's do some... Ooh, do we have enough sky steel? I think we probably do. Um, I think we probably do. Yeah, okay, great. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just select up each of these steel royal beds... And then we'll change these out to ergonomic beds. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. They, they cost gold. Well, I was going to say, oh, they cost gold, so I better not do it. How much gold do we have? How much of everything do we have right now? We like just we just have so much of everything. We don't even need to worry about any of this crap. Just Let's just build whatever the hell we want. Let's build everything exactly to our heart's desire. So I'm going to put a couple of these down like that. Uh, we've already got some lights in most of these anyway, but we can clone out a couple of these ones like to sort of here and here and here and there 
and everywhere, maybe one at the bottom uh, to replace the ones that we're going to be building walls over. That'll be fine. Beautiful. Great. Five she. Hey, five she, build this bed. No, actually, I want you to have one of the big ones. Could you produce this bed for me? Or if I actually select a bed, maybe that'll be better. Uh-huh. Okay, great. So she's going to grab a little bit of steel from this room. She is going to get a little bit confused about her pathing and try and walk through this table. But now she's going to come around, slip into here, keep doing... It's fine. It's like, we're not in any hurry or anything here, Five G. You just take your time, mate. Just take your time. It's fine. Um, I do want to double check to make sure that we do clean in here as well. So zone, and we're going to expand our cleaning area to include the bedrooms. Lovely jubbly. And uh, we may as well do this little line here as well, huh? Just get rid of that extra little bit of filth. And now, as all this stuff slowly starts to appear in there, let's grab ourselves a few statues and pop them in just to absolutely tart these rooms through the roof. Uh, is there another excellent one? Uh, there's no, they're all good. Normal, normal, good. Oh, okay, there's a steel grand sculpture, which is excellent, but I don't think it's going to fit terribly well uh, in that room. So we might have to just go with like a normal. Um, that'll be fine. Uh, they they seem to link together, huh? That's cool. So we can we can do that. Um, and then a normal one here. That'll be great. And then Princess is on making a few more. She seems to enjoy this, so that's cool. She's actually really friggin' good. Holy dooly. Is there a way that I can do, like, quality make on this? Because, like, normally... Oh, God, that can go. That hasn't been used for donkey's years. In fact, was that a prisoner bed that was turning this all into a prison? Oh, my goodness. Was it? How long has that been there? Gordon Bennett Astro. Get your shit together. Right. So, here's what I'm thinking. There are ways that you can restrict building things so that they aren't... Oh, no, I don't really want to play with that. Like, quality builder for this. Well, I can set what quality I want this to be. And it won't be built if it's anything less than this. So, like, if I say this quality needs to be legendary then it might take five she a little while or maybe two she might have to come and do it he's the only one that's really going to be already constructing so if i set that at absolute max is that just going to straight up be it's going to take a freaking long time huh can i do that for all of these legendary badunk does this does this work Surely not. Surely I can't just say I want legendary stuff and it'll just happen. Can it? Can uh, I? I maybe it will. Maybe I mean this. This is definitely getting built, and then that's definitely getting built. Five she, mate. Can you do this for me? And we'll see what happens. Because she has said that she's agreeing to build a masterwork or a legendary and survey says no yeah see normal so does that mean they're now just going to tear it apart and rebuild it until it becomes legendary huh i'm kind of not angry at that in fact i find that kind of amusing like i can just leave these guys chained in here for the rest of time trying their hardest to build legendary maybe i'll just do it for the beds huh so maybe we'll go masterwork beds and then these ones uh yeah they can be like excellent and then the chairs can be like at least excellent and then what's this the table that should be also at least excellent and then everything else uh, and then the the beds sorry we'll we'll let those do their thing uh, I do need to make some, uh, some, um, like, bed linen. And I can't remember where to do that, because it's been about 700 years since I did that. I think it was at the, like, this guy? Make mending kits. Uh, bandages, explosive pouch, recycle apparel. Is that not... 
Oh. Details. Oh. Why haven't I done this before? Why don't I recycle anything that's below 60% of any quality and then do forever? Well, that would have been handy about seven years ago, but that's fine. Um, we can also make a few things here and there, blah, blah, blah. Uh, double betting set. Let's um, just do until X, where X is, I guess, where we have just one lying about. We don't have any ingredients to make this out of right now, which is a bit of a problem. Like we need some kind of anything to make this happen. I mean, I don't even have any just cloth, which is pretty pretty disgusting, I gotta say. I'm, I'm pretty disappointed in myself. Um, it's probably because it's all being turned into hyperweave. So maybe we can amp up our cloth production. Is that a thing we wanna think about? I think it's a thing we want to think about because we got spices and strawberries and things. And then you've got all of this crud in here. Um, maybe it's time that we changed out this. No, that's lentils. I don't want to change out the lentils. I want those. Maybe it's time we changed out the coffee. Yes. We'll change this out to cotton. Where is the cotton? There it is. Boom. Um, and then we'll let our growers take care of that. And hopefully, hopefully... What's, uh, what's going on here, kids? Uh, is it not... Are you not inputting to the cool digital storage unit? Is there a problem? Where there monkeys? Uh, is there a problem with the cool digital storage unit? Is it at 512 of... Oh, wow. Okay. It's full. It's full of tobacco and dead mega spiders. And dead mega spiders. <laughs> Look at them all. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus. And look at all this meat. We have heaps of raw meat. Okay. Well, there's the first masterwork bed. No, it's an end table. Cool. And he's going to deconstruct it? Um, cancel deconstruction. That's fine. What's this one? Good. Wow. Okay, cool. So, I think masterwork is totally fine, dude. Um, right. So, let's have a looky-loo here. Could you please butcher creature? It should be anything, right? Just, just butcher anything. It's totally fine. And then close. So, I'm just going to let it churn and burn through... Why is there tobacco here? This is an output port. Right? No, that's an input port. Oh, I see. It's too full. Okay. So this is the output port. And this should say storage, allow fresh, cool. And I want, uh, let's see, corpses. Um, click. Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to let it butcher up a bunch of animals. They are going to produce insect chitin and other things, but I'm not too worried about that. So that'll start getting rid of the mega scarabs and things. Good. Next, disassemble mechanoids. Now, where did I do that? Because there's a bunch of mechanoids that I reckon we could probably... Oh, there's no corpses over here, guys. Hey, well done. Oh, my giddy art. All right, where do I disassemble a mechanoid corpse? Is it in here? Um, is this... Uh, no, uh, it's not there. It might be, uh, no, ooh, RX neural chip. <gasps> Skymind. Okay, cool. We're coming back to that. Don't worry. What about this guy? No. What about, that's tailoring. It's not going to be there, Astro. Uh, it's not going to be there. That's where our AI crap is. I guess it'll be on maybe one of the assembly benches in yonder. So like this guy, uh, salvage drone corpse. Aha. Disassembled. No. Hmm. What about disassemble dead android? What about disassemble... No. What about shred? Is it shred mechanoid? Yes, it is. Do forever. Uh, I didn't have that selected, did I? No. Wow. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, so let's just slide that up to the top here. And who can work on that for us? Kim, are you about? Uh, who's, who's crafting around here? No one. 
It runs it runs off elsewhere, huh? It runs not okay, Sabarium. I know that that's fairly important, but could you try doing this for me for a moment? I want to see if you can grab me. Yes. Yes, Pinky. Look at that. Look at the goodies that these guys yield. Oh, man, oh, man. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with what these guys poop out, and I'm pretty disappointed that I haven't had that up and running, like, for years. But that's fine. It's fine, because now we've got this huge stash of Plasteel in the form of a bunch of dead mechanoids. Holy crap, this is this is going to be pretty good, huh? This is going to be great. I, I don't know what we're going to do with all this insect meat. Um, or that mecha tentacle. Or all of the rest of the stuff that's in here. I do know, though, that this tobacco... Oh... Oh, I have a cunning plan. Wait, where am I? Uh, let's go into here. Who's not doing anything? Who's not busy? You're not very busy because you're only making uranium pellets, huh? So why don't you do me a favor uh, and get reinstalled? Uh, where would... Oh, I know. I know. If I grab just a crafting spot, uh, let's see, production, production, production. Just a crafting spot's enough. So I can pop that just there. Because this, we can make smoke leaf joints and, and cigarillos right here, huh? Yeah. So you now, could you please learn how to make cigarillos times four? Why not? And all we then need to do is place a duplicate of this. Build a copy. Right there. Uh, five sheet. I need this done quick. Oh. She's already on it. My God. I'm in love with Five She already. Like, she really is impressing me with how much skill. Look at, the, look at the speed of her. She just needs a couple of components now, and she's good to go. I mean, there should be components right here. Five She? Hauling? Dickens, could, five She. Five She, please. No? Okay. She's, she's toddled off. Toddled off to do other things. Um... So what I need to do, now that you know how to do that, I want you to then go make cigarillos and then do, do forever. Cool. And then, uh, uh, I guess, we could do that with all of these, huh? Um, like if I just like put cigarillos into each of these, in fact, I should have put that like between these two. And then these two here, whilst they're idle, could just totally make cigarillos forever. And this one. And this one. Let's do it. Okay, cool. So you need to be... Um, <laughs> no, I'll wait until they're all in. Hang on. Okay. And then let's do my crafting spot. Uh, and that can go there and there and there. Great. And then you, please import make cigarillos times four. Sam goes big nose, cigarillos times four. And this one here, lovely jubbly. Should I get them to do, s nah, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, and then let's get rid of these, get rid of these, deconstruct, good. So, this and, can we get this one done, five she? Could you please? No, someone else is already working on it. We just have to be patient. Um, and then, okay. So we're just getting some deliveries happening. Everything seems to be there. And five she? Oh, what a pro. What a pro. So this one, this one, that one, and that one. You guys need to be set to come from the cooled digital storage unit. You need to be set to output mode. And you need to be set to, uh, I guess... I can't change that, huh? I can't change that from here? I cannot. Okay, I'll do it from here. Uh, let's go to back. Raw resources, plant matter, to back. Bonk. And then you, Mr. IO port, if you can copy that. And then this, this, this. Paste. And then all three of you can be set up with a new bill. Uh, which can just be do forever. Pfft, 
In fact, you might be able to make chem fuel from organics. That might be... Oh, we might be able to do that. Do until uh, where X equals like 400. Okay. Because we've got shit loads of tobacco. Let's see what that one does. Okay. It's going to make cigarillos. But is it going to realize that once it's done those cigarillos... No. So evidently this can't be done from... Unless... Tobacco. Oh... Yeah, we've got 5,329. So go ahead and use that to make some more chem fuel for us. Because quite frankly, a little bit of extra chem fuel in this joint would not be a bad idea. So, these cigarellos now are going to... Well, they're going to help us to get through this massive backlog of, uh, of storage we've got in the cool digital storage unit. Uh, along with... Well, that seems to be done. That's kind of nice, shredding all of those mechanoids. Um, I'm pretty sure we've probably gotten through... Nope, items. We've probably gotten through all of the mecha, uh, the Mega Scarabs. Nope, they're still going. <laughs> Goodness gracious me, look at them all. Okay, so the, the automatic butchering machine should take care of the rest of what's going on over there. It'll be running for just days and days and days, churning through these guys. We've got cats and ripper hounds hovering around in here, sniffing out this insect meat. But don't worry, kids because I've made that available to you. Oh, look, the corpses are overflowing to this zone as well. Or are these ones rotten? No? Okay. So what's the storage here? Let's set this to normal. And then can these then, uh, can they, no? Let's set the storage here maybe to low. Uh-huh. And then if I go orders, haul urgently all of these, Okay, so they don't count. It's fine. That's a bit disappointing. That's a bit disappointing. What if I delete this entirely? Is that a good idea? Maybe. Oh, a textiles trader. Shit. Hang on. Uh, wait. Jesse. Jesse. Jess. Jesse. Go for it. Let's see if they've got anything. Right. Well, I got wildly distracted then, as is my way, um, because well, look. There's a few things we needed to fix there. All right, getting that cool digital storage unit taken care of is good. This one is now starting to worry me. Like, what's in here that's taking up so much? Hello. Uh, cloth. Great. Please sell me your cloth. That'd be wonderful. Um, would you like to buy any... My God, you've got actually quite a good amount of stuff. Look at this. You've even got some synth thread, which is wildly expensive, but I don't really want that. And hyperweave. Man, I really should. I really should, but I'm not going to. I'm sorry. Um, have you got some stuff that I don't want? Like these. These should be getting recycled. They should be... Uh, look, just buy these from me. There you go. Um, I guess you can have this Parker. No, actually, let me keep the Parkers. I might need those. Um, you can have my shitty toques that are here. Uh, do you want any steel? Can you actually buy any steel? The answer is no. That's disappointing. That is disappointing. So I'm going to be wound up with a bit of a bill at the end of this, sadly. Uh, I mean, I could sell some of my synth thread, but that seems uh, very silly. I'll sell them some of my random leathers and stuff, huh? Because I don't really need these. They're not They're not going to be that useful. They're like these tiny little bits. I suppose I could turn them into patch leather, but I don't think that that's really something I need to worry about. Okay. So I wonder what's in here that doesn't need to be in here. We've got a bunch of missile fuselages, which is great. We've got shitloads of turbine blades. Um, but yeah, nothing really super duper, huh? Nothing, nothing crazy. Um, I wish there was a way that I could like build a copy, but then like dock them together so that this one was extended beyond 768 stacks. But I don't think that's actually possible. Sadly. Sadly. All right. Can we get this hauled in, please, friends? That will come in very handy uh, for a few of the things that we've got coming up. Um, let's... Whoa, Nelly. Uh, okay. Well, that's more than I anticipated we were going to have at this particular point in time. Um, cool. Cool. So there's, there's 22 fuel rods in there. 
ready to go into this bad boy or or and I'm just going to put this out there they could go into this one because quite frankly these two units are both basically identical so this might not be a bad thing to investigate yeah yeah well friends thanks for tuning in I uh, hope to see you next time hope you had fun